All right, everyone, let's go ahead and continue with our tutorial on ASUS AI Suite 3, which includes Dual Intelligent Processors 5. We've already gone through five-way optimization and looked at the TPU, so we're going to go ahead to Fan Expert 3. Now, of course, while you're optimizing your system with the Auto-Tune, it will set your fans for you, but if you want to further go ahead and do that, you could go ahead to Fan Expert 3, click on Fan Tuning. Of course, once you click on that, it's going to ask you if you want it to continue, and you need to click yes if you want to optimize it. Now, remember, if you are using a 3-pin CPU fan, make sure you set CPU fan control on in advanced mode in your BIOS. That's about the only other thing that you have to do. I'm using a 4-pin, but I'm also using an AIO, which is controlled by its own software program. So, of course, it's not going to adjust anything that has to do with my CPU fan. But I do have a case fan in here. I have a chassis fan set up, and that is a 3-pin three, three fan, and that doesn't. you don't have to worry about that. It will auto-tune it based on the fan's performance, based on power percentage, based on the temperature of your CPU and inside of your system via the sensors. Right now we're at 60%. Just so you don't keep on getting uh, you know, bored, it does change the graphics. We have just finished and we're at 100%. So what will happen is it will change over to another screen and show you basic ranges on what it has done to your fans. Again, we're looking right now at the CPU fan. As you can see, there's nothing happened because it's being controlled about by something else. So the table is basically just going to show numbers by how I have it set on my other uh, program. But we will go ahead and take a look at the chassis fan. I am using a chassis fan, which Maximum speed is 1,576 RPMs a minute. Minimum speed, of course, is zero. The fan will run when power is higher than 464, uh, 30, 34%, but it will run at 464 RPMs. And the controllable range for this specific fan is between 34% and 100%. We'll click OK. Now we'll go ahead to our our area and we'll look at the different fans okay so we have chassis fan one we'll click on that graph and based on this table here on the right hand side you will see that the graph has specific settings so when we go up the fan will actually increase now we have the fan spin up spin up time set to its default which is 12 seconds spin down time is 6.3 seconds and i have my source set to cpu so this is going the fan speed is going to be based on my cpu temperature all right now you can manually adjust this now you cannot go down because of the percentage range that it has already predetermined but you can bring this up so just say i wanted this my chassis fan to operate at its 50 percent which is 864 rpms so all i need to do is just bring this up to 50 percent mark we'll go ahead and click apply now if you look at the bottom real quick you see where since we're in the 30 to 40 percent range we're about 501 rpms once i click apply i just brought that range up now you can see the yellow dot moved up with it and in about 12 seconds it'll start ramping up and it will start getting towards that 864 rpms as you can see on the bottom we're at 774 now we're at 805 so we're just under 50 so we're not going to get the actual 864 but it gives you a good idea on where we're sitting and as you can see it's fluctuating between each of each of them now we could also set our maximum we could also set our minimums all right that's not that that bad it's fairly simple you have a nice little table here to tell you what ranges you want you could manually adjust what you like
We'll bring it back down to its original setting and we'll click apply and then you'll notice that it will start going down and we will go back down to about our 30 between 30 and 40 percent range. One good thing about this is every once in a while with these fans the new the new Asus AI Street uh, <laughs> AI Suite uh, Fan Expert 3 will actually reverse your fans to blow off uh, some of the dust that might collect on them while you're running it. That's a good good new feature. So in any essence that was just a quick tutorial and you're probably wondering why I didn't go be over these. Alright so we have different modes. Of course with this one if I click it on silent it's gonna set the CPU fan to zero it's gonna shut it off because I'm within that thermal range that I want to be as you can see the chassis fan was set to zero. When we go to standard of course our standard mode is gonna be that first mode here in the graph so it'll ramp up to the standard mode. Let's go back we'll click on turbo mode Turbo mode is going to be our second level in the graph, which is about 50%, so we should start seeing about 864 RPMs on this. And then, of course, if we go to full speed, it's going to ramp it up to full speed within 12 seconds, and we will be running at its max, which should be approximately 1,576 RPMs a minute. So you can manually, manually change it based on that table and you'll know where you're going to be with RPMs and how much air you're going to be flowing. So I'm going to go ahead and set it back to standard. But this has been a quick overview and a short tutorial on how to use ASUS Fan Expert 3 in the AI Suite 3 for the Z97 motherboards with Dual Intelligent Processor 5. I think the next one we're going to go ahead and take a look at Turbo App. We have showed you Digi uh, Plus VRM in the past. There's really not much that changed with that, but Turbo App is something new and I'd like to show you that. So we'll be going over Turbo App in our next short tutorial. Bye bye.